This cabinet is by one of the finest makers of French furniture in the 19th century, Henri Dasson, a Parisian maker of Merve de Luxe. It just shouts quality. There is no expense spared in the marble, and the veneers of Amboina, and extraordinarily, this gilt bronze. Dasson was actually initially a bronze maker who took over another workshop, somebody called Charles Winkelson in 1871, and he took over his moulds and workshops and was bringing the making of French furniture to a new standard in 1871. There is nothing that can be faulted with it. We know nothing, sadly, about the painter. Very few of these panels were ever signed, and when they were, there are artists who were just unknown, paid by the hour to do this wonderful work. Here we have people in 18th century costume, out in a little rose arbor, eating melon, cavorting, just having fun. I just want to show you some of the details that exemplify Dasson's work and make him such a great cabinet maker. Here we have the facsimile of his signature engraved into the gold on the bronze. Henry Dasson, with a small h always, rather quirkily and rather amusingly, and the date, 1884. But just look at the quality of his work. This is one of the finest Rouge Languedoc marble tops I've ever seen. Look how Dasson's gone to the extreme here of cutting out this corner, the marbrier, has cut this round here above the column, and you can see the wonderful graining of the marble, but more importantly, the concave molding and a step molding. That makes it much more expensive. The marble is thicker and much more work and time and effort has gone into this. And then we go to his pièce de la résistance, always the metalwork. Here we've got these wonderful framed leaves, deliberately matte, to contrast with the outside of the framing here, which has been burnished, burnished with a little agate tool to give it that hard, glinty effect. Remember, this is 1884, just about the time electricity was invented, and this would be glinting in the candlelight at night. Absolutely wonderful effect. And the effect is continued down here on this twist or torsade here on the top of the column very much a Weissweiler 18th century motif that Dasson employed. Again, you can see the contrast of the gold and the matte to give you that highlight effect. It's wonderful craftsmanship. I just must point out these mouldings here, or cannelure. This, of course, is amaranth, but this brass moulding is unbelievably difficult to do because the brass is fluted and tapers thinly all the way to the bottom. When those come loose, they are incredibly difficult to replace. The workmanship to actually make something like that is almost a lost technique today. Here we have something that's 130 or 40 years old and nothing has moved, nothing is out of place. A piece of this quality is simply faultless. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It will last a thousand years. Most extraordinary quality, the very best French cabinet making.